and welcome back to another Paul's Aquariums unboxing video. How nice are these stingrays? So these are freshwater stingrays from South America. They are Mentilla cross Matoro, so two different species, hybrid, kind of going to be weird when they get bigger. Super, super cool though. So if you want to know more about them, just comment down below or come see me in the shop. We also have some peacock bass. These are Zingu. So if you've seen my tanks at home, you'll know that I keep both these species super, super awesome as well. But anyway, we are here. Oh, there I am gonna unbox some fish. We have three boxes, three boxes of fish. <laughs> Good start. Let's see what we've got. This is the third, third bag, first bag. Wow. Hi, it's Paul from Paul's Aquariums and I can't talk. <laughs> first bag, we have some albino oscars, it looks like. So albino tiger oscars. There should be a fair few of them in these boxes because they are small and they are very, very cute. So first bag, we have oscars second bag oh they are nice so these are a little asian species of fish they look like a mini gar so these are called a half beak they stay small they are super peaceful they hover around the surface they look like a little stick with eyes and a mouth and fish parts they are really really nice so they are live bearers as well so they have birth to tiny little babies that look like little tiny hairs very 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 cool fish so we have them back in stock as well. Bag number three, we're all over the place. We have fish from China. Oh, they are cute. Look at them. They are really, really, really nice. Oh. So these are black ranchus. They get the bubbly head like an aranda if you've ever seen that. If you haven't seen aranda, they get a bubbly head. Very cute, little wiggly tails, little wiggly bodies. I only got a few to see what they're like. They don't look too bad. So we have black ranchus as well how nice is that that is a lovely fish so that is a tiny tiny angolian elephant nose should be a few of them in the boxes look at it look at this little snout it is so small it's a little bit bigger than a neon <laughs> i know they sent us small ones because they were out of stock of the slightly bigger ones they will eat live blackworms and that so we'll give them a couple of days to settle in by the time you see this video they should be good to go just message on social media very cool fish they will get about that big so not really going to eat things like neons and tetras same sort of water requirements and that look at those more cool fish so these are marbled bristle nose lovely as you can see on the screen i just want to tank for about a thousand of those they are pretty awesome little things so we have lots and lots and lots of those as well and the second third fourth not too sure what bag we have more oscars so more oscars looks like there is another couple of bags of albino oscars in there as well what are they oh they are long thin cherry barbs super cool fish aren't they nice i still haven't bred any more barbs since the albino cherry barbs I will breed these again. At the moment, I'm not breeding any fish until I sort out solar because my power bill is kind of through the roof. <laughs> oh, is it ever? Yes, so hopefully we'll get that sorted in the next month or so. So don't skip the ads. I'll get two cents for every ad you don't skip. <laughs> so just put a playlist on and just walk away for a day. That would be wonderful. Hopefully I'll be able to afford solar then I can do more videos. <laughs> uh, Aren't they nice? So anyway, these are super peaceful fish. They will color up really, really red. Long fin, obviously. As they get bigger, they get more developed fins to them. Very, very cool fish. There should be a couple of different other ones in there as well. What is that? And that is Siamese. That is those. Those are Siamese flying foxes. Again, super cool algae eaters. They do get quite big. But why they're small, they are perfect little algae eaters. You want a group of them, same as the barbs and most of the tetras. You want schools of them, so three, six or more, and they do a really, really good job. But they are back in stock as well. That looks like that was box number one. We're going to jump to box number two. We have box number two. Two, wait, two. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of cool fish in here that I want to keep. I know. These are nice. So these are turquoise rainbow fish. They're called turquoise because they're turquoise and they're a rainbow fish. It's a true story. They will get quite big. They get wide, colorful, schooling. 
lovely. Get a little bit big, so you wouldn't keep them with tiny little things like Ember Tetras and that, which I'm pretty sure there's some Ember Tetras in one of these boxes as well. But they're okay with like big old neons and so on and so on. So they are back in stock as well. This bag, and I haven't seen any of these, so bear with us. Oh, they are nice. So these are dwarf blue, what are they called? Panda guppies. They're called panda because they have the black and white splotches to them. Well, technically it's dark blue and light blue and white. They're a lovely fish and they're called dwarf because they're small. <laughs> so small, colorful, lovely male guppies. I only got males of those, unfortunately. I know, eventually we'll have some females, hopefully. What's in this bag? Hey, look at it, look at it, look at it. It's another Angolian elephant nose. Oh, that's so cute. They're very cute. Okay, on their own or in a group, you don't really want two because they can kind of harass each other. So cool. Look at it. Look at the snout. It's got like half double snout. So another Angolian elephant nose. There will be some more somewhere there as well. What are they? Oh, Pistogramma. Pistogramma borelii. They're so little. They're so little, but they're cheap. Click the thumbs up if you're little and you're cheap. They are very small but they are cheap. I've just said that, haven't I? Click the thumbs up. Oh look, I'm back with another bag. <laughs> oh, peacock gudgeons. Papua New Guinea fish, really cool, really nice. So the people that wanted pairs of them might be able to tell with these ones. If you see them on the screen and they look colored up, then we have pairs of them. In the bag, it's pretty hard to tell. I can sort of make out some males and possible females. So good time if you want to come in and get a pair of these. Very nice community fish as well. In this bag, we have Ember Tetras, yay! Bright red, tiny, super cool, lovely fish. They go really well with things like Neon Tetras and other small fish in community tanks. Bright red and cute. Keep a group of them. They're relatively cheap and relatively awesome. Click the thumbs up if you're cheap and you're awesome. <laughs> Is this gonna be like the most thumbs up I ever get in a video because everyone's awesome and cheap or very small and cheap. How nice are they? So those are Cooley Loaches. Again, more Cooley Loaches, they're wiggly. Wiggly Cooley Loaches. Ah, what can you say? Peaceful, schooling, we get a lot of them. They come, they go, they come, they go. What is a cool fact about these is a lot of them have different patterns to them. So you can be very obsessive. <laughs> They're gonna drive everyone crazy. They're gonna come in and go, I want that one with the cool stripe. You can do that. I can catch the cool stripe for you. But we have those available. Super, super awesome. So more Kili Loaches in stock. I have one albino shark in a bag. I got one to see what they're like because last time we got them, they were skinny and they're mingy. But of course, if you get one, he's awesome. Huge, awesome, nice, meaty. These get huge. These are the black sharks, but the exantic version, which is like a two foot long, nasty, evil fish. I have one at home about 40 centimeters, not the white version, but the black version. I can keep it with little cichlids, but I can't keep it with much else. It has killed a few bigger fish super territorial as they get bigger. So you got about a year before they decide to kill everything. I might grow this one up, but if you're super keen on that, I have that one available as well. Oh, there's something different. There should be a couple of bags of these. Bumblebee catfish. I'm pretty sure these are from the Mekong River. Awesome fish. Don't get overly big, about 20, 25 centimeters. Big enough to eat neons and that, but not big enough to harass big cichlids. If you want a cool catfish that looks cool, bumblebee cats are where it's at. Very, very cool fish. I haven't had them for like about a year or so, maybe longer, I'm not too sure. If you're a regular customer, comment down below if you've seen them in my shop, apart from the display tanks. <laughs> it's been a while, that's for sure. Well, let me check if there's anything else. And no, there was nothing else. That was box number two. We're going to box number three. Three. One, two, three. There we go. Box number three. <laughs> that didn't work. Box number three is going to be the box with the awesome stuff in it. I want all of these fish. First bag, calico long fin bristle nose. Moo, 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 moo. They are 
are so nice. I know I should breed them, I do keep them at home, but they are really, really nice. It's big feathers, calico, sucky mouths. What more could you want? No, don't click the thumbs up if you have a sucky mouth. We have more Oscars. I told you it was a lot of Oscars, so more albino tiger Oscars. Wait for it, there are cool stuff in here somewhere. More bumblebee cats. <laughs> Where are the cool ones? Not that bumblebee cats aren't cool. How about some Mekong River spotted bumblebee gobies? That's different. So these are the spotted version of the striped bumblebee gobies. A little bit of salt, but they can go full fresh. Oh look, here's a bag of something awesome. Wow. Red lizard whiptail catfish. Oh, they are so nice. I only got 10 because I didn't know how big they would be. That is a regret. I should have got 10,000, but there are 10 available. Being super, super quick, I think they're around about 70 bucks, 80 bucks, something like that. A decent size. Can't really sex them, sorry, because they're not quite sexable size, but they are so cool. Look at them. Red, suckerfish, dwarf, they get about that big. So nice. Be very, very quick if you want those. Obviously message me on social media if you're seeing this. Haven't had them for ages. This bag, we have silver dollars. All round, super cool schooling tetras. They get big, they eat plants. Perfect with big fish like Oscars, South American cichlids, all those wonderful fish. More silver dollars. What is in this bag? Oh. They are also cool. I've always wanted to breed these. These are little mouth brooders. They are chocolate gouramis. They're one of the few fish that survive super, super acidic. I think down to like 4.5, maybe even a little bit lower than that. Very, very cool fish. As long as you have your pH like 6.5 or below, they will be fine. They like it really warm as well. So warm, soft, acidic water. They're called chocolate gouramis because they're gourami. They taste like chocolate, apparently. That is everything in that box. If you enjoyed this quick unboxing, and it was quick, Click that because that is more unboxing and you can watch it all night. Just run it through and don't skip the ads <laughs> so I can afford solar. If you'd like to subscribe, click that button. That would be wonderful. And where my face is now, click that. And that is a video about snakes and stuff. And you can watch me get bitten because that would be fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> See you in the next video. Bye.